Alright guys, what is up? It's Warning here and I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial today. Now, this tutorial is going to be for beginners. It's going to be how to make a quick AVI. So, let's get started. So, what you want to do is you want to grab a PSD. It doesn't matter what PSD. I'm going to grab the Marv one. Yeah, I'm going to grab the Marv one. So this PSD I already have um, a bunch of CCs and lightings and stuff on it. So and I got a bunch of um, lights, light filters and stuff, and backgrounds. So uh, yeah, so basically, what you want to do, right? Is there are three ways you can do this, okay? The first way is you can just get a random picture and put a clipping mask on it. Um. And it, sometimes it turns out clean, sometimes it doesn't. It depends on the pick you use. And the second way is you can um, do like a, I don't know how to say. It. You can do it. You can make the logo pop out, like pop out of the logo, like the actual logo. So like if you want to do like a character theme to like the, let's see if you were to do the Hulk or something, you could do like a Hulk background and then like put Hulk popping out the Marv logo or something. And then the third way is you could just. You could just do like a layer style or something, or like just put a layer style on the logo. And sometimes, I mean, not not rarely people do that, but I mean, or I rarely do that, but I mean, it looks sometimes it looks clean. So I'm gonna show you all three ways. Um, let's see. We're gonna start with the clipping mask. So yeah, I have a bunch of photos, like random photos. So let's see. Uh, let's go with, um, and by the way, I'm going to be showing this without using magic bullet looks or anything like that. So yeah, we're going to be, let's use this picture. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to go to this file, right? And then you want to, you want to drag it to the other file and then just release the mouse. And you want to set it how you want it and you want to put it under like above the background layer and if you have like lighting and like stuff to make the background darker then put it under that so then what you want to do is you want to control J to duplicate the layer and you want to drag it on top of the 2d logo and then you're gonna to want to right click and press and click create clipping mask now what you can do is you can like mess with the blending options a little bit for the 2d and you can like make it better um, I don't know you could just do you could just mess around with it and see which how you like it but I'm, I'm just gonna keep it like this maybe I could just mess with the um, background a little bit make it cleaner but yeah um then you could just um if you have magic bullet looks um you could just like you just cop you just um select every layer except for the cc's and lighting and you just duplicate it go to filter magic bullet photo looks but um there are some other filters that you can use i'm going to show you so you want to click the top layer and hold shift and press the bottom layer and then control j and then you right click and press merge layers so there's a bunch of different filters you can use um i i sometimes i i'm not gonna say sometimes but i mean i mostly use oil paint but not all the time though um it it, it, it looks really clean sometimes um you can just mess around with this this makes it like rougher and smoother this makes it like clean rough scale you can just mess with that bristle bristle it just um makes it like yeah it's just rough and smooth all that but yeah people like to use this on like i don't know i'll, sh I'll show an example but yeah you can um mess around with the lighting a bit you can press this press this button right here and it create a new layer and then go to the paintbrush and select it the white and you could just like you can up the size you can just like mess with the edges of the logo or whatever um yeah you can just mess with the edges of the logo put it with the name and you can overlay this layer make it brighter sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't 
but yeah right now it doesn't look that clean it only looks clean over the name so so yeah that's how you can um, make a clean picture logo next I'm gonna show you how to make a pop-up logo let's get into it all right so now I'm going to show you how to make a pop-out logo so um, this, these are fairly easy I mean most of them are really easy some of them can take time it just depends on the image you're using so I guess I'll use this Deadpool one for example so what you want to do is drag it to the PSD file and if you don't like how the how big it is then you could just press Control T hold shift go to the corner of the image and drag it to the center to make it smaller and keep the ratios so I'm going to actually make this bigger and you want to put whatever you're going to pop out mostly to the center and what I like to do is I like to press Control J bring this one to the top right click create clipping mask and then I like to apply a filter I like to apply a Gaussian blur on there and then you press Control J on the create on the clipping mask image of the 2D logo. And what you want to do is you want to erase everything but the thing you want to pop out. So for example, I want to pop out this Deadpool. So I'm going to erase and I want it to pop out through like the top. So yeah, I'm just going to erase everything at the bottom until I'm probably yeah I'm gonna I'm just gonna pop his head out and his little katana and stuff but yeah I'll get back to you when I finish okay so I'm back I have finished cutting out most of it but I want to show you a little trick so if you if you want to like if you want to make these sides to look cleaner you can right click on the image and down here you'll have a list of options and what you want to do is click this the one that looks exactly like this and what you want to do is you want to lower down the size hold alt and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and you want to go around the edges and just kind of erase go back and forth as much as you can without getting rid of the picture and it should clean up the edges a little bit and look fairly clean without actually looking crappy you know I'm sure you know fuck 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 so yeah I will get back to you when I have finished. All right, guys. So I've touched up the sides a little bit. I've made it somewhat cleaner. So that is basically how you make a pop-up logo. Now, this is only for beginners. If you want me to do a more in-depth tutorial, just comment below that you want to see more. Um, but yeah, that is how you do a pop-out logo, guys. Alright guys, I'm back with the third way to make a quick AVI for beginners. So, um, the third way is you can try and put a layer style effect on it. Now, I wouldn't recommend this. I mean, you can if you want to. It doesn't really look that good. Um, but if you find a really good layer style, like maybe you like one of these and you want to apply one. Or you like one of these and you want to use one for a logo. So, I'll show you what it would sort of look like. Alright, so let's use this one for example. You see how it looks? Alright, so layer styles are basically for fonts, but some people like to put them on logos, which I don't recommend. So what you do is you go to a layer style you like, right click, press copy layer, layer style, go to the 2D, right click, and click paste layer style. Now see see how it did how like it doesn't look that good like it looks nothing alike 
some can do that, but then some, you know, some look really clean. But uh, let me try and find one that looks pretty good. use this one so yeah no that doesn't what you if it looks like that you can mess with the settings a bit you can go into the pattern overlay and you can scale it however you want but uh it just I mean sometimes it's good but I mean it doesn't I wouldn't recommend it it doesn't look good most of the time but uh yeah if you want to I can I can show you an example of one with a layer style right now but yeah that should other than that I mean that is how you make quick AVIs for beginners if you want me to go more in depth leave a like subscribe comment on comment down below if you want to see more of an in-depth more tutorial or just comment below what you want what more tutorials you want to see next um i'm open to suggestions so yeah it's been your boy warning and i'm out